we're going through very, very grim times right now. And it's very easy for people to lose hope. And if you lose hope, well, there's not much point in doing anything if you don't think it's going to make a difference. So people fall into apathy. And if we fall into apathy and do nothing, we're doomed, no question. This window of time for making change is closing. People so often say to me, Jane, how can you have hope today when you look around? Climate change, loss of biodiversity, poverty, unsustainable lifestyles, war, you, you name it. Well, I see hope as tied with action. And I see humanity right now at the mouth of a very long tunnel. And right at the end of that long, dark tunnel is a little star shining, hope. But there's no point sitting at the mouth of the tunnel and hoping that star will come. No, we have to roll up our sleeves. We have to crawl under, climb over, work our way around all the different obstacles that lie between us and the end of the tunnel. The ones I've mentioned, loss of biodiversity, climate change, pandemics, and so on. But if we get together, we still have this window of time, but we need to take action now. And that's where the young people are my greatest reason for hope, because all over the world now, in these 65 countries, and others, where there are groups like Roots and Shoots, the young people are taking action. The young people are holding their elders to account. And gradually, people are changing. What I say to people who say, what can I do to make a difference? Well, first of all, remember that every single day you live, you make an impact. If millions of people make ethical choices every day, that leads to major change. But you know, there are some things that we can do pretty easy. We can plant a tree or give money to people who are planting trees providing it's the right kind of tree in the right soil, the right time of year, and the tree is looked after. Because we're losing our forests so fast and planting trees around the world is helping to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and give us oxygen to breathe. We can eat less or no meat because these factory farms and the increase in meat eating is not only cruel to the animals, but it's destroying huge areas of natural habitat to grow the grain, masses of fossil fuel to get the grain to the animals, the animals to the slaughter, and the meat to the table. It's using up lots of water, increasingly precious in some parts of the world because it takes a lot of water to change vegetable to animal protein. All of these animals are producing methane gas in their digestion, and next to carbon dioxide, that is the most prevalent greenhouse gas. These greenhouse gases that circle the world like a blanket, trap the heat of the sun, lead to climate change. I think the most important philosophy one can have today as an activist is don't give up. To carry on because we don't have much time. And if you encounter a setback, ask yourself, what did I do wrong? Not, oh, that person is an idiot, they didn't listen. What, what could I have done better? That's a really important thing. And you carry on because you're passionate, because you care about the planet, because you care about the environment, and because you care about future generations of animals, plants, trees, and people. You have to carry on.